Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video on Kongal CPQ, we have seen how product feature visibility can be controlled using attribute value metrics. Today we are going to take another part of product feature visibility. So here is the agenda. What is product feature? How to control visibility of product feature? How to set up use case and we'll review the configuration. So what is product feature? Product feature is nothing but the characteristic of product. In Conga, these product characteristics are widely known as product attribute. How to control visibility of product feature? We can control the visibility of different product attributes using two ways attribute value matrix, which we have seen in the last video, and product attribute rule. When to use what? So, attribute value matrix can be used when you want to default some pick list, uh, some values which can't be altered, and when you want to define the combination of the attribute values okay. you can go and check that video on my playlist of conga cpq uh, product attribute rule can do following steps it can show or hide the attribute it can allow specific pick list values it can make an attribute required or disabled it can reset the value of the attribute it can default the value of the attribute as well that is what product attribute rule can do okay. so how to set up so to set up product feature visibility using product attribute tool, first of all, you have to define product, raise this item, attributes and associate it with product. You define product attribute rule, you define product attribute rule action, and which has six steps. Allow, default, hidden, disable, required, and reset. And I believe like uh, the types are self-explanatory. Now the use case, Apple is selling laptops to customer, laptop has following characteristics, processor, RAM, storage, display, color, required paid installation and reset color. Laptop configuration requires following characteristics. So following attribute needs to be required, processor, RAM, storage, display, color, color needs to be default to black. If I select processor as 14 Gen i7, I should only select 16 GB and 32 GB RAM along with that. And required paid installation attribute must be hidden in that case. If I check reset color checkbox, then the color needs to be reset to black and required paid installation attribute must be disabled. So let's review this configuration. So I am on catalog page and I'll select the product as laptop and I'll configure it, ignore the prices as of now. I can see processor, RAM, storage, display, and light laptop color as required so how can it be done so i have written a product attribute rule over here which says uh, set required value as name active i have defined the scope as laptop over here individual product and i have defined all the fields required over here i believe you can't see the field selected but that you can see it over here okay so let me just show you so here you can see the fields processor ram storage display and laptop color is required that is how it became required now the other thing is laptop color need to be set default to black right so let's see how it is defaulted so there is another rule that i've written which is active we have selected the scope as product which is laptop and over here we have defaulted the value as black and we can see it over here that which field it was it was laptop color okay so that is how that can be controlled now if i select 14 gen it should be only showing 16 gb and 32 gb ram over here as well as it will hide this particular attribute before that let me show you the combination over here i'll mark it as 14 gb uh, the attribute is gone now and i can see only two pick list value here how it was done so let me just show you set allow values so using this we have allowed only two values in ram so this is active the product is selected as laptop the condition is the processor is 14 gen i7 then we are only allowing 16 gb and 32 gb of ram in pick list value right so i'll go over here and i'll show you where which field is being used ram so that is how we were seeing those steps over here we were marking uh, attribute is hidden so this is the rule for it it is active product scope is laptop condition as 
14 Gen i7 as a processor and we are hiding out the required page installation that you can see over here okay the last one was laptop color needs to be reset to black and required page installation needs to be disabled so uh, the reset one will only work if your value is blank so i'll just click reset which will reset the values blank as well as the required page installation is disabled so for that we have written another rule which is called set reset and disable value it is active product is laptop right and uh, value is like condition is reset color is true then the color will be reset to blank and required paid installation disable which you can see it over here as well right color is reset and required paid installation disable so this is how you can control the visibility of your attribute you can mark it required you can disable it using product attribute rule so thank you very much for watching the videos uh, please like and share the content i hope you like this content as well please like and share the content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed thank you very much